This is amazing. Imagine you have thousands of questions and answers and you want to create a QA system based on your questions and answers where the user can ask questions and get relevant answers based on the question in an interface like this. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you how to create an interface like this where a user can ask a question and get the relevant answers using text AI and embeddings. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. First, you make sure that you create a virtual environment using conda create iPhone and text AI Python equals 3.11 and then click enter. Next, conda activate text AI and then click enter. Next, pip install text AI and all. And finally, you also add Gradio to add the Gradio interface. The other packages such as Torch, Torch Vision helps us to extend this further. So I'm going to install all these packages and then click enter. Next, we are going to create a file called QA.py and then open it. First, from datasets, import load dataset, then import embeddings from text AI. Next, we are loading the dataset, which is web questions. So the web questions dataset is in hugging face. So you can see the datasets with web questions. It contains more than 3000 questions and answers. So now we are going to feed these questions into our embeddings database and we are going to query those questions. So this is an easy way to import those web questions dataset into your Python application. You can also load your own dataset. If your company contains a list of questions and answers unique to your own business, you can add that here. Next, we're going to initialize and index embeddings. Embeddings equals embeddings and providing the path to the embeddings model. And then finally, you're mentioning content equals true. This stores the embeddings in a database. Next, we are going to index those embeddings using dot index function. Here we are going through each and every row in the data set and indexing question answers. Next, we are going to save the embeddings to a file. This is required when we want to create an application and then you can use this file to load those embeddings to create the question and answer system. Next, as a test, we are going to search the embeddings using embeddings.search. I'm adding that inside the function so that you can ask multiple questions. So this is how I'm querying the embeddings database. So select text answer similarity score from text AI. I'm using similarity search and passing the text. So the full function will look like this, only two lines. And finally, I'm asking a question to the QA database. Tell me an animal found offshore in Florida. This is found. The answer for this is found in the question and answer data set, which we have imported at the beginning. As a quick overview, we loaded the data set, we defined the embeddings model and then indexed the data set. Next, we saved the embeddings in a file. And finally, we are asking questions to the big list of database. The main thing to note here is we can restructure this question in any way we want, but still you should be able to get the answer. So now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python QA.py and then click enter. Now it's indexing and then searching. So finally we got the answer here. So what kind of fish do you catch in Florida? That is a question which we ingested from our question and answer CSV. And the answer is large mouth bass. So this question is not an exact match to the question we asked, but still it's able to find the correct answer. That's because we did similarity search using embeddings. Our normal search system searches for keywords, but in this, we are searching for meanings related to words. Next, we are going to create a user interface for this. I'm going to create a file called ui.py and then open it. Inside that file, I'm going to import Gradio as GR, Next, I'm going to import application from text ai.app. Next, I'm going to import or initialize the saved embeddings by providing the path. That's where our previous index got saved. Next, I'm going to define a function called search questions. Inside that, I'm going to run a function called app.search where it searches for the query, same like we have done before. And finally, it returns the question, answer and the similarity score. Next, I'm going to create an interface using gr.interface, passing that 
search question function inputs is one text box and the outputs three text box text box one text box two with answer and finally a number with the similarity score finally i'm going to add interface dot launch that's it just few lines of code and we have created a user interface now i'm going to run this code in your terminal python ui.py and then click enter this loaded the previously stored embeddings and it created an interface for us it is running in this url so i'm going to open this url this is how our interface looks like now i'm going to ask the same question as before tell me an animal found offshore in florida and submit and here we got the answer next i'm going to ask things to do in new york and we got the answer here this is based on the data set which we ingested earlier from hugging face as simple as that now you are able to create a question and answer system like this with user interface with your own custom data i'm going to create more similar videos to this so stay tuned i hope you like this video do like share and subscribe and thanks for watching